Hello and welcome to part three of this tutorial 151. If you've not seen parts one and two, that would probably be a good place to start. And I'll put a little link at the top of this video, at least uh, on YouTube. And uh, essentially what this program does is in the uh, on the right hand chart, which is the sending chart, we've drawn some lines. Then another program has taken those lines put the information about the lines, in other words, price, color, style, weight, etc., into a vector, and that vector is then put into a global dictionary. What the program on the receiving chart on the left is doing is it is uh, interrogating that global dictionary and finding the, uh, the price, the weight, the color, the, the uh, style, and then redrawing lines on the chart. So let's uh, have a look how this works. And uh, the good place to start is in the once statement where we initialize things. So we're initializing the global dictionary. This time we're setting up an event and that is an item added event. Now in terms of the syntax for global dictionary, you can go to dictionary and then just do a search on global dictionary and then you will find uh, the, uh, the syntax. We also create three vectors, line vowels, line refs and vec vector. And then uh, finally, we call two methods that are included in this program. Delete horizontal lines, which is going to delete all the horizontal lines from the chart, as you might have guessed, and reread, redraw. So let's uh, have a look at those. So delete horizontal lines. This is taking the lines that are already on the chart. And as you may remember from the previous video, we can find out what those lines are using this uh, drawing objects class. In other words, drawing object dot item, and then 12 means all the horizontal lines. And uh, then what we do is we assign that into a vector line refs. And then we go through that vector from zero to line refs minus one. And we simply just delete all the, uh, all those, those lines. So that just clears the chart out. Then, as you may remember, we're calling reread redraw. So let's have a look at that. And what this does is it reads the global dictionary. In fact, it sets the vec vector vector equal to the global dictionary values. And there's two sides to the global dictionary. They're the keys and the values. We want the values in this case. And we can put those simply into a vector. And then we just count through that vector. And uh, for each case, we uh, create uh, or we assign to another vector line vowels. And uh, having assigned the, uh, the line va the uh, vec vector counter as type vector to line vowels, then we call another method, which is draw line. So we've got uh, the values put into a vector. So we now know uh, in the vector the, uh, the price level, the color, the style, the weight. So we call then another simple little method. And what that does is with the information, it creates the line. In other words, it knows that line val zero is where the, uh, the price is. The, uh, the color it can be found in line vowels one, um, one, two, and three, and four. So it creates the color, then it does the same for the weight and the style. Um, we've set this to H line persist. What this means is the line should uh, remain displayed between intrabar updates, which may, uh, which may happen. And then we add that to the chart. So this is what we do when we first apply the program to the chart. But another thing can happen, and that is that an a value um, can be, or an item can be added to the global dictionary. And we've already set up an event for this, and this is where the event is fired. And uh, what we do is, let's just look at uh, starting down here to start with, is if an item has been added, so args action equals item process action, dot added and uh, you may be wondering okay where does that come from well if you right click on args and then 
click on item processed action, you can see the various um, items there. So item processed action dot added is the one that we're interested in. So if it's a items processed action dot added, then what we do is we say that line vowels, you remember from the, uh, the previous method, line vowels is where we stored a vector that included the, the price, the color elements, and the, uh, the style and weight. Then line vowels is equal to args dot value as type vector. So this actually tells us when the uh, global dictionary has an item added to us, it'll added to it. We get a vector, we can get a vector with that information. And then having got that vector, we can just simply go to draw line as we did before to uh, create those horizontal lines based on those values. So now this line here, if global dict dot count equals one, then delete horizontal lines. So what this is saying is if the number of items in the global dictionary is one, which probably means that the sending chart has had a recalc exception issue. And what this does is it forces this program to delete the lines and then recreate the lines so that we don't end up with any spurious lines left on the chart after the fact, for example lines added using the drawing tool. So you'll see it calls the uh, delete horizontal or horizont horiz lines method. If we just go back down again, you'll see that is the, uh, the method that we looked at at the beginning. And then apart from that, we have the usual uh, loading the namespaces, our inputs, make sure that we have the same share ref, has to be the same between the sending and the receiving programs. And then we have the uh, the vectors, uh, the horizontal line, and the global dictionary. So that is it. Hopefully that's been somewhat interesting. And uh, please, if you're not already on the Markplex email list, then please join that. And also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, and it's in this way that uh, I can let you know when new tutorials or programs are released. Thank you.